ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out on NBC News. Uh, police investigating nooses hung around Mississippi Capitol to protest states' racial history ahead of Hyde Smith versus SB runoff. This is actually normal in America. You know, those of you that live in foreign places that write me and we, you know, you're telling me you're afraid to come to America and stuff. This is really America. You don't need no runoff election to find a noose in America. This is like everyday occurrence. <laughs> Nothing has changed. We're just in a different day. But the attitudes are the same. They would have to be the same when you see this. This ain't no individual thing. See, this is what they will try to tell you. Oh, this just individuals. Well, you know what? Thousands of individuals. You, you can't call every incident an individual thing because it's not. But this is what they will try to peddle, you know, and even these things happen on jobs. They happen everywhere. So no, this, this is not isolated. It's none of those things that they try to tell you. This is the norm. And as far as the ones that tell you they are good people, obviously the ones that have the real power are the, the bad ones. The good ones, they obviously don't have any power because they have yet to stop this stuff from happening. So I don't know how good they are, but this is what they're claiming. So we're moving on. Two nooses were found hanging outside the Mississippi State Capitol on Monday, along with signs that reference the racially charged Senate runoff race on Tuesday. On Tuesday, November 27th, thousands of Mississippians will vote for a senator. We need someone who respects the lives of lynch victims. One sign said, according to a Capitol Police spokesman who read it to NBC News, we're hanging nooses to remind people that times haven't changed, read another sign. We know that. You didn't have to write that on the sign. You could have saved that sign and wrote something else, used it for something else. Five signs were handwritten on poster board and affix to the trees on the eve of the runoff Senate election on Tuesday between Democrat Mike Epps B. SB. And uh, you know, we know he's black, and then uh, Hyde Smith is white, who has come under fire for her comments about attending a public hanging and voter suppression, which her campaign later said was a joke. I don't find any of those things funny. State police were first alerted to the nooses and signs by NBC affiliate WLBT, which received a tip to check out the area, said Chuck uh, McIntosh, communication director for the Mississippi Department of Finance and Administration, which oversees the Capitol grounds. As of late this morning, they did not have any suspects. McIntosh told NBC News, referring to the Capitol Police. Espy told reporters on Monday that he wasn't linking Hyde Smith to the nooses. I cannot connect that to her. I wouldn't do that. That'd be, un uh, that'd be unfair, he said. <laughs> That's just like us, always worried about being fair when people are being unfair to us. I just don't get it. I, I don't see how we're not beyond that yet, but I, I don't get it. Never mind. The closing weeks of the Senate contest, the last of the lengthy primary season, have been dogged by racial issues. The Jackson Free Press reported on Friday that Hyde Smith had attended Lawrence County Academy in Brookhaven, Mississippi during the 70s. The now shuttered school, one of the so-called segregation academies, was founded in 1970 to flout in order to integrate the state school and had a conference, um, I'm sorry, Confederate general mascot, according to the local weekly. 
In their debate last week, SB accused Hyde Smith of having given Mississippi another black eye on racial issues. The Republican incumbent said her public hanging comment was twisted, was turned into a weapon to be used against me. If anyone was offended, Hyde Smith, I certainly apologize. What do you mean, if? Wait, what the fuck? If? Oh, boy. <sighs> boy, these people are so ignorant. SB shot back. No one twisted your comment, he said at the debate. They came out of your mouth. I don't know what's in your heart. That What's in a person, that, that's irrelevant. But we all know what came out of your mouth. It's caused our state harm. It's given our state another black eye that we don't need. Because of the state's racially motivated killings, Mississippi lead the nation for lynchings in the decade after the Civil War. Democrats and civil rights advocates have ripped into Hyde Smith. Trump is scheduled to campaign at two stops for Hyde Smith later Monday, which is today. In a tweet on Sunday, encouraging voters to cast their ballots for the GOP candidate, Trump wrote, Hyde Smith is respected by all. We need her in Washington, thanks. And yeah, she, who's all? <laughs> Please define that. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm not surprised. This is the norm. This is not isolated. This is not an individual these are many people that have this type of attitude in America, okay? And again, the alleged good people are too weak to stop it or they're just complicit about the whole thing. But I don't consider them good people at all because if they are good, then the good have failed. You have failed to control this kind of stuff among your people. You are a failure. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.